Welcome back at 945. If you have ever been interested in learning basic Scottish country dancing, I know. Think about that. It's very specific. But it you know is. what? I'm intrigued. <laughs> I am too. And that is why we have our next guest who is going to share some details for an event for all of us to enjoy. The Greensboro Scottish Country Dance Society will hold its fall open house tonight. No partner necessary. And don't worry about having those perfect footwork skills or making mistakes. This is social dancing, not performance dancing. I appreciate all of these caveats here. All right, let's get to Esther Lease now, who is a head teacher with the Greensboro Scottish Country Dance Society here with us this morning for um, some more information on the event. Good morning to you. Sure, good morning and thank you for having me. It's always, I always enjoy an opportunity to tell everybody how wonderful Scottish country dancing is. <laughs> well, we're excited to hear about it. Can you first explain what exactly is Scottish country dancing and, and what are the particular traits about it? Well, this is the traditional ballroom dancing of Scotland and it probably goes back about six or seven hundred years, but it's still very much done today. Um, over, over in Scotland, uh, kids will learn it in school. Um, we don't have that luxury here, but um, it's the forerunner of American square dancing. Um, it's similar but more controlled than um, contra dancing. It's done in two lines with with partners. It's it's team dancing. So you dance with a set of two or three or four couples. Um, and that's part of the fun. It, it's what makes it social and, and fun because we help each other out in, in dancing. And um, it's still very much a living tradition with people continuing to write new dances today and write new music. Um, and we are members of the Royal Scottish Country Dance Society, which is based in Edinburgh, Scotland. It's now 100 years old, so we're celebrating the 100th anniversary this year. Uh, and it was started in, in 1923 because um, the founders of this society realized that this type of dancing was being lost. And so they pretty much ransacked the attics of all their friends and found dance descriptions in old trunks and things and and they started publishing dances but more importantly they codified how we do dances and this group is now Scottish Country Dancers you can find worldwide um, there are of course lots of groups in the UK and Scotland but lots of groups here in in America I can go up to Boston and dance or I can dance down in Atlanta as well and the, the dances will be done in the same style and the same way. So I can walk into a dance in Seattle and do Montgomery's Rant the same way I would do it here. So um, there's, there's footwork to learn, um, there's handing, there are basic figures, and then dances get more complicated. Um, but it, it just takes a while to get all of this put together, but it's a really um, satisfying form of dancing once you, you get the basics down. Yeah, the video we're showing looks quite fun too, and to do it with a group of friends makes it sound even more fun. So Esther, what do people need to know or bring ahead of time? What do they need to wear? Is there any COVID requirements that you'd like to share for today's event, that open house? Yes, sure. Um, people don't first, as you said before, they don't need a partner. They'll need some sort of soft soled shoes. Um, you don't have to own a kilt. You don't have to wear a sash like I've got on. Um, you can wear whatever normal clothes you would wear to maybe an exercise class, just something that you're comfortable in. Um, women can wear skirts, um, a lot of us do, but you don't need to. You can wear slacks or shorts, what, whatever is comfortable to move in. Um, Let's see what else we need to know. Oh, um, the open house starts tonight at from 7.30 to about 8.30. Um, we'll have advanced dancers who will show up at 7.30 as well. So we dance all evening from 7.30 till about 10. Uh, we take a break in, in the middle of, of our dancing and, and chat for a while and make announcements. Um, we do ask that everyone be up to date with their COVID vaccines. Um, right now in Guilford County where we dance, uh, masks are optional. If you feel more comfortable in, in a crowded situation like this wearing a mask, um, you're welcome to do so. Um, that's entirely up to you. Um, and I'll be, we'll be taking attendance just to get to know who's here. And in case there is a problem, that way we can um, 
contact everybody and, and let them know there's been an exposure problem, which, which we've had to do once or twice in the past. But um, so far, people in the group have been safe. Well, good to note that there, Esther. Thank you so much for all of that information. And uh, folks at home want to make sure you have the rundown, the details for tonight's event. If you're interested in attending that fall open house for the Greensboro Scottish Country Dance Society, that is going to be at 730 tonight at the Guilford Grange on Guilford School Road off of Lindley Road. Again, this is free. You don't need to bring a partner to um, experience all of this. As she was saying, some advanced dancers are going to be there, so they'll, I think, help you out. You can visit GSO scds.org for more information.